Brian Carter for Daily Extra, waiting on the red carpet tonight for Daniel Radcliffe to come and talk to us about his new film, Kill Your Darlings. How was it working with uh, John to portray, you know, gay desire in an authentic way? Obviously, John being openly gay, it kind of, yeah. I'm sure, would have added yeah, to the, helped, helped uh, you. Yeah, no, no, John, John, John was uh, very uh, forthcoming with lots of information. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I mean, he, he, I mean, when we were filming the sort of the gay love scene, I mean, John was literally standing off camera shouting instructions at one point. Um, so, you know, it was, uh, yeah, it was definitely um, very helpful having him there. And, uh, and I think, because especially because he really wanted to capture that scene properly because he felt he hadn't seen it done properly. Uh, before, um, so yeah, I, I, I hope we got some way towards that. Hopefully the last time someone's yelling at you while you're trying to do that kind yeah, of thing. I mean, it is. I ho hopefully I won't get yelled at again while trying to do that. That's, that it's, it's quite off-putting. What we have, darlings and demoiselles, is a circle. Your character is Lucian Carr's ultimate victim. What do you think drew him to Lucian? I think when he first met Lucian, uh, Lucian was uh, fatherless and he stepped in and became a surrogate of sorts and a mentor of sorts and there was a time when his affection was uh, reciprocated in some way but in this film when it starts uh, we are meeting a man who is no longer having that uh, feeling reciprocated and is as is desperate to to rekindle it he's um, strung out on a drug that's no longer there for him, uh, lovesick, if you will. And um, it's, it's, um, it's a desperate place for a person to be. I think we can all relate to some form of that, maybe not one this extreme, but it is uh, fundamentally human, I think. You know, Lucian and David had a complicated relationship. Do you think uh, David's ultimate demise was born out of Lucian's own uncomfortability with his sexuality or more to do with his disdain for the controlling nature of the relationship? Um, well, I, I, I'm not sure uh, if it's either one of those exactly. Um, I think that, you know, Lucian and David were together for a really long time, from the time Lucian was 14 to the time he was 21. And I think they probably had some really great times in that time. Uh, but, you know, this is uh, a time in a young man's life when he's kind of ready to move on and he's ready to start doing things on his own and become an independent person. And he meets Alan, and Alan's a really amazing person uh, who I think he's, he's really drawn to in a lot of ways um, and he's just he's just ready to let go of this relationship and David is not and um, David uh, won't take no for an answer and um, unfortunately uh, Lucian uh, makes sure he does.